All right. As you guys know, this is the OFC Business Zone. For those that do not know, the OFC stands for One Full Circle. We are the Melanated Community Resource Hub and network. Please think of us first for all your community and your business needs. And this is the business zone where, as you guys know, we like to bring you guys that melanated excellence. So uh, we have special guests with us um, this morning. It is always a pleasure to have them here with us in studio. It is the one and only Shandell and do I call you Raymond or Lloyd? I was on my phone. I have you as Lloyd. I call you Raymond. <laughs> I introduce you. What it, 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 is it's there? A Raymond, Raymond. Just, just so I just so I know. And I can, is Raymond okay? Cool. So all right, move. I'm gonna edit it. So, so that's <laughs> so it is Raymond from the one and only Nemesis Video Game Lounge, the largest video game lounge. Is it in Quebec or in Montreal? It's the largest um, in Quebec. I'd Montreal? say in in so, Montreal, we're we're unique. Montreal, I mean, there's Montreal? no other video game lounge, so. Like that's us, it. So we're kind of unique. I wouldn't be surprised if you guys would love to see the But anyway, so I'm, uh, it's, it, it's always, always a pleasure. So welcome, guys. Welcome to the Business Zone. Thank you for being with us. Thank you so much for having us. Thank so, you. Ah, it's my pleasure. So first off, like I like to do, so can, can we do a little background just for those who, who, are, who might be new and who are now um, coming to find out who you guys are and what Nemesis is about? So, sure. So, so Nemesis essentially started almost 15 years ago now, uh, that was fast. Uh, in 2007, we opened up as a place where people on the West Island could just come and hang out, a safe place to be um, for teens, you know, like, you know, teens who are a little too young for the clubs and <laughs> too old for, you know, uh, <laughs> playgrounds and stuff like that. So we wanted to, I really wanted to offer a place that was fun for them, like that had all the best things so it wasn't just like a rec room where they throw in a pool table, but I really wanted to offer an amazing place that kids wanted to be. Um, it really uh, ignited when I saw my little brother at the time who was just hanging around outside at like 1030 at night. So I figured, you know, uh, other families probably worry that their kids are out doing up to no good. So I wanted to offer a place for them. Uh, and long story short, I made Nemesis Land which was the ultimate gaming place where you have all the latest equipment, latest gear to play on and an, at an affordable price. And over the years, it's grown into what we have today, which is a whole, you know, thing of gamers. Like we do, we offer everything for gaming. So we teach classes, how to make video games. We uh, have video game parties and we do video game events and fundraisers all for, for youth. Uh, that is that is exceptional I, I i have to say i've definitely myself and the empower our team we've had uh we've had the joy of coming <laughs> and taking part in the dr um yes, guys, that was so if fun. you have not done it oh my lord if you have not done it please put it on your bucket list it's something to do at least one time um and i'm sure once you do it once you will be hooked uh you it's, you can't just do it once it, it is amazing 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 it's an, a great exper uh, experience for all our montrealers guys there's absolutely no excuse for you to not do this you're you're right here um so that's <laughs> awesome and like i i i, I, I want to just highlight a little bit because i like the fact that this is like a this is a family business so if we could just yes. touch on that a little bit, like how is that dynamic? And then uh, we, we could dive into to what we're promoting. So essentially Raymond is my husband uh, and uh, we've been working together on this project. I met him in actually in 2009. So just two, in, two years into the business and we've worked together and we've grown it together. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we worked together and we've grown it to what it is today. Um, I was happy enough to have my oldest daughter actually work uh, this year was our first year working as a teacher in coding so it was, oh, it's coming man. full circle and my youngest That's one it. who's seven yeah exactly my youngest one who's seven has already started coding and she's pretty much a marketer she she gives out the business cards and she encourages others to try new things so i'm pretty happy it's a full family um, business <laughs> see, i love that i love that i love that just warms my heart so um so we're here we're here to talk about some uh and a special event or initiative that you guys have going on um it, it's unique so i'd like to yeah let, let, let's let's dive in so it's it's like christmas in november is that is that yes uh, how you guys go yeah yeah we call it christmas in november so the reason we we're, we call it christmas in november is essentially it's an event where we are trying to gather as many toys as possible 
uh, for the kids who are in the Montreal Children's Hospital. So who are unfortunate enough to be in the hospital on the holidays. So we wanted to give back in the sense and you know, we love youth, we want to help youth. So this was a, a, a cool initiative that I thought would help them and put smiles on the kids' faces in the hospital uh, when we bring a bunch of toys to them, you know, for the holidays. Um, in terms of the date and time, I mean, Ray will go into that. Um, but essentially the goal is uh, it's a free game night. You come, you play, you have fun. There's going to be a live DJ, free mu music and everything like that. You're going to be able to play all the systems, all the games, and it only costs you the donation of a new toy. Uh, and those wow. toys will be donated to the Montreal Children's. Uh, but Ray, you can wow. take over with the, uh, the details more about time and et cetera. Yes, absolutely. Uh, yeah, so the date is, as uh, Shonda mentioned, November 26th, and it's be a uh, Friday. Um, so it's the time is at 5 p.m. for all ages to come and enjoy the, uh, the event. And then at 7 p.m., we just quietly lock it off for uh, 13 years and up for all ages, um, for those ages. Uh, so 13 years and up will be, of course, will be playing more of a mature kind of games. Uh, uh, I want to say games. mature, old, like mature older games. Not older. <laughs> yeah, older games uh, <laughs> that uh, people tend to not play with their, when they're younger than that. So, um, and then I'll also be having a uh, live DJ that'll be mm -hmm. coming in to um, to DJ the part of the, uh, the event. And um, yeah, so the local DJ, it's called DJ, I think it's DJ TK. 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 <laughs> yeah. call he's he's okay. gracious Hello. enough to volunteer his time for the event. Yeah. Um, and we really appreciate that. So um, yeah, he'll be coming in and um, putting some tunes on for the holidays. Yeah. Definitely. Holiday spirit. He's doing that for community. We, we should yes. plug his page. You guys know it? If not, like, uh, yeah, t t tell me later. I'll make sure to plug it, mention it on the show. Definitely. You know, definitely. Oh, definitely. This definitely. Is the power of community. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. we're here to support each other. He's supporting you. We definitely want to support him, too. So that is awesome, awesome, awesome. Exactly. Guys, the event awesome. sounds exciting. I'm, I'm <clears> looking forward to it. And it, yeah. it's great what you guys are doing um, to give back, like, and, you know, and to, to just lighten up the, the spirits of these children. Like, I think it's uh, important. I, 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 I love it. So now, so those, so let's say somebody, and if I understand correctly, um, it, right now the price is only to come with a toy. But what if, what if one mm. doesn't have a toy, doesn't have time, they just want to contribute some funds? Is that is that a yeah. possibility? Like, yeah, you can mm -hmm. definitely yeah. do that. Um, if you don't have a toy, uh, we have we will take donation slips for twenty five dollars. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all mm -hmm. the proceeds are going to go directly to the hospital, um, mm -hmm. and uh, I believe we're going to get a kit from the hospital so you can get your receipt. Um, your donation receipt and make sure that uh, all the funds are attributed to where it needs to go and don't wrap the gifts because they said that they're at the hospital they're the ones who are going to be distributing it so if it's wrapped they have to open it up and they have to find out which mm. age group it goes to and that so it's just a toy don't need to wrap it just as is and they'll uh, sort it from there oh you know and something just came to my mind so then and this is the children's hospital so um mm -hmm. like this is like should the the gifts be like age appropriate like should there be like you know should there be a range like is it you know all like ages kids, like, i mean yeah there's okay. all, yeah, ages all ages in the hospital. um they there's they, no plushies thing. yeah they the only thing they've said to us is no stuffed animals or anything that can okay. really hold bacteria or dust or germs okay. so just no plushies or stuffed animals but other than that all toys are welcome and like i said if you don't have time to run out and get a toy you just uh donate the 25 dollars per person to uh to the hospital or what, what if we want to do a two for one what if we want to come to nemesis buy one of your games <laughs> and then give it away isn't that a win-win <laughs> you definitely give out gift certificates that's also a way of doing it that'll be you know amazing. what i mean you guys know me. i'm, I'm working with this you know what I mean? Like, shoot, maybe I, I might not have the time, but I do have some money. Maybe I'll just come and buy a Nemesis certificate and make that mm -hmm. happen. And it, just a win for everybody. Everybody wins. I love this. So now, and honestly, like what you guys are doing is awesome. So how, how do people get in contact with you before we go into anything else? Well, you can always reach us uh, through our website, um, nemesisland.ca. No D, because it's not like Disneyland. A lot of people <laughs> put the yeah. D, but it's nemesisland, L-A-N. .ca. You can also call us. So I don't mind giving out our number. It's 514-692-4611. And you can ask more questions, find out more about the event. 
Um, and all ages are welcome, you know, kids, adults, grandparents. It's a family friendly event. You're all going to be comfortable. We're going to have amazing hot chocolates for sale, baking goods for sale, eggnog. Uh, and, and eggnog and hot chocolate, coffee, <laughs> tea, everything for the holidays to get you in that warm, fuzzy feeling. Uh, it will be there. So this is awesome and you know we just we were we, were, we had a, a little gathering the other day like uh so you guys take part you guys are part of the ofc uh business team and we've been we've been meeting every monday and it's been exceptional um mm -hmm. and actually one of the things we're discussing now is, is an outing um where i i think we're going to be coming to you guys as the, all right as a, as a group. <laughs> yeah. nice. all right we're, we're coordinating together. It's going to be fun. We're, we're, we're going to be following amazing. up on that. But so, so just, just, to, just to touch on, how has been your experience dealing with the OFC business team and just as OFC members in general? Well, we've come, uh, well, I've come on my own and Ray has went on his own. So I'll speak from my experience. So um, my experience when I, uh, when I got into the meeting was amazing. I made some really good contacts. I'm, 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 I'm talking to some right now including Tanisha, who's going to be working with us shortly. So I'm super pumped about that. So great contacts, spoke to people, you know, you know, it's a different vibe. It kind of made you think a little differently towards business and working together, which is what I really enjoy. And uh, I'm, I'm enjoying the, uh, I'm enjoying this concept. It's really great. Thank you. Okay. Awesome. Raymond, how's, how you? how's your experience? Uh, my experience been really good. Um, uh, there is a couple of uh, interactions with uh, certain members that's there that came by, actually came by and visited us. Um, like Shondell mentioned, Tanisha came by and her husband. And, uh, you know, uh, I know that um, we were trying to, I was trying to advertise more to Sweet Girl uh, for, for the business type. And uh, we still have the Sweet Girl. Um, but I, I want to, we want to focus more of, uh, of a business type or deal with Sweet Girl is more of a, a franchise, as I explained, I explained to you before off, off here about, uh, about that. So we do have a Sweet Girl, um, but that's, has a high end delivery of cakes and stuff. And um, only through Uber though. So we, we we're Ubers. really going to focus on uh really yeah. focus on nemesis and kid coders nemesis and and corporate events and stuff like that that's uh, and coding actually uh for uh mm -hmm. for kid coders uh so sweet girl we still have it but on the side we um uh sweet girl as also but uh if feel free to give us a call or anybody wants to talk to me or order some cakes to, through uber uh that's uh that's always welcome Welcome to as well. Amazing. And you know, as, as you guys are just speaking, something came to mind. I don't know if you guys ever thought of it, but maybe it could be a seed I could find with you guys. But have you guys ever considered um, becoming like a franchise and having like a nemesis line in Ontario or different things like that? Yeah, um, we yeah. did look into it a couple of years back. Um, it's just to find that right, that right person, you know, that has the same intentions mm -hmm. as us, that has the same kind of interest in helping the future generations uh, learning to program. Mm -hmm. And also, uh, you know, has an interest in gaming. So it's not all about all yeah. about usually financing. Usually, you get the people that are, just have the money, have no clue about the business. <laughs> We're right, looking for someone the... who could do both. You know, like care about right. the business <laughs> and have some money. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I, I love so, yeah. that. Okay, now all right. So when we just put the seed out there. You never know. We know there, there's a <laughs> lot of people who come into our show and who watch it. So definitely, yeah. Um, yeah, you never know. Someone might be listening to like, you know what? I think I do want to take this on. So no, so that is awesome. So. Um, so one more time. So we have, so it's this coming Friday, November yes. 26th. Yes. Okay. Friday, November 26th. Uh, 5 p.m. Mm -hmm. 5 p.m. All ages. Uh, 5 p.m. All ages. And then at 7 p.m. Uh, it's 13 and over. And uh, what's the address That's again? right. Yeah. I, 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 think, I, I think we might have yeah. forgotten to tell people where the location is. So we are in the Plaza Point Claire. So uh, if you're not familiar with the mall, it's a mall at the corner of the 20 and St. John's Boulevard. Um, and we are in the new section. So the east wing of the building uh, it has two sections and it, our address will be 245J. So 245J in the Plaza Point Claire, that would be the easiest way to get to us. Awesome. So like I like to do, this is the Empower Hour. Do you guys have any empowering words that you would like to leave with the community? Empowering words. I'd like, hmm, that's interesting. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, when you have an idea, excuse me, <clears throat> when you have an idea, just go for it. I mean, don't let anyone discourage you. 
tell you, oh, that's a lot of work. Just go for it. You're going to feel fulfilled. And it is really rewarding to do something you love and that you're passionate about. So that's right. my, uh, that's my only two cents there. Nice. Is, right, that, is, is that a collective one or okay good Remy, you have one too good. good yeah i have one i have one i tried to um say when i when i sent email out um to to anybody uh, my reason my slogan always ends with don't just play learn to create them so we mm. were i want to know have an advantage or tell the people young people actually so just don't just play games, learn to create your own, your own idea, your own, um, anything that you want to put uh, to make people know who you are. Uh, and uh, mm -hmm. that's what I mean, this is all about. We, we are going to uh, help kids or young adults or even some uh, older folks that are, you know, want to make their dream possible. So we're open to mm -hmm. ideas to come on to share with them, share with us and let us know how we can work together and see what happens in the future. Don't just play create. That's right. <laughs> just play create. I love it. Guys, it's always a pleasure having you on with us uh, on the Business Zone and on the Empower Hour. I want to thank you guys again. Um, so this, for those who are uh, tuning in and listening, this has been another amazing interview on the OFC Business Zone. And thank you for tuning in to the Empower Hour. And a big shout out to CKUT 90.3 FM for just giving us this platform. Wishing everybody an amazing rest of the day. Hotep, amen, ashe, and all that good stuff. Thanks, guys. <laughs> right. Thank you. Thank you.